glory to God. I have yet another word of encouragement for you, my brothers and sisters. This is a word especially for those who are going through a lot of problems. You are going through the storm. You are going through the fire. This is a word for you. Brothers and sisters, they are afraid of what you carry in the inside of you. You think that that problem that is coming up against you is just there just to destroy you. No. Yes, they want to destroy you, but they are afraid of you. They want to eliminate you. You are highly anointed. A lot of people don't know this. Just because you are going through light afflictions, it does not mean that you are not anointed. It does not mean that God does not love you. Look at the prophets. Look at the apostles in the scriptures. They went through afflictions. These people were flogged and beaten. Some of them were left for dead. They were stoned and left for dead. An example is the Apostle Paul. That he was stoned and left for dead. And people assumed that he had died. But God gave him the strength. Some people have beaten you. In the spiritual, they have beaten you. And some of you, you are trying to make ends meet. Things have not been easy for you. But God is going to give you strength. Because the scripture says, in him we move, live, and have our being. Your strength does not come from, from other people. Your strength does not come from your boss. Your strength does not come from uh, your family. It comes from God. God is the source of your strength. God is your father. In other words, it is referred to as partner. He's your sustainer. So my brothers and sisters, they are afraid of you. Scripture says it clear that we have this treasure in earthen vessels. There is treasure in you that they are afraid of. Not only are they afraid of you, but they want to steal it. Yes, they want to steal it. They want to take what belongs to you. Scripture refers to as the thief, as the enemy, as a thief. That the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal what belongs to you. And after that, he kills it and destroys it. So that there is no evidence. Brothers and sisters, there's a very powerful scripture that I love quoting. That says that when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed, king over Israel, they came out in full force. All this time, they were waiting for the day he was anointed. Brothers and sisters, your enemies know about your anointing and they are afraid. They are afraid because Jesus Christ of Nazareth lives in you. The moment you accepted Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, the enemy waged war against you. Some of you are wondering, right at your uh, workplace, right even at your uh, home where you stay, you are going through a spiritual warfare. It seems like life has not been good. Life has been a struggle. They want to disappoint you. And remember, fear should not be something that you, you take in as a child of God. Do not be afraid of them. Yes, they can be afraid of you, but don't be afraid of them. Let your faith be in God. Because it is God that will bring you out of this situation. I love these men, Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. In that they were never afraid of the king's decree. That the king made a decree that people should bow down and worship his made image. These men said no. 
They say, in fact, they said, Oh, King, live forever. But we shall not worship what you have made. So the king throws these men into fire. But guess what? The men were not consumed by fire. That even fire did not consume them. The reason as to why fire did not consume them is because God is the consuming fire. And if God your father is the consuming father, and if you were born of God, then you too are a consuming fire. That even in the fire, there was another man in the fire with them. And that is believed to be Jesus. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is in the fire with you. Some of you may not be going through physical fire, but it could be spiritual fire. That the enemy has thrown you into a burning furnace. But, brothers and sisters, you are not going to get burnt. You are going to survive. This is a word for you. I have come to the end of this word. I would encourage you to subscribe. Turn on all the notifications. Send me your messages. Uh, remember, my email is in the about section. Leave your comments. And until next time, God bless you.